Hello and welcome to this video where we're going to talk about credentials. We're going to be creating some credentials today in my lab that has already been scanned with a credentialless scan. So let's look at what it looks like when I scan with a credentialless scan before we create some credentials. Okay, over here I have logged into app.landsweeper.com using my username and password. And let's navigate over here to the inventory section where I can see my entire inventory. Um, as you can see, I've got lots of scan errors here. That's what all these um, orange exclamation points mean. Uh, and this is primarily because I don't have any um, quality scan credentials that are put in here. But you can see, even without credentials, um, Landsweeper is able to capture quite a bit of information. We've got IP addresses, MAC addresses, even manufacturer types. And if I go into one of these particular assets, we can see a lot of this information um, is still to be propagated when I have uh, a good quality credential put in place. But at least we can see some some information about this type of machine. It's a Windows server, some basic information, and th this might help you to do a little bit of reconnaissance or uh, finding out um, you know where this machine might be located. So with that now, seeing what this looks like, let's put let's create a couple different credentials, put them in place, and let's see what this uh, what the results will be. So let's come over here into the scanning and let's create and go into the credential vault where we can then create a new credential. We have three different types of credentials that can be categorized here. One is the default credentials. So the default credentials are those credentials that are used by default if one of the other custom credentials may not work. So an example might be, maybe you have a specific physical location that has a different scan server that's there and it's scanning based off of a certain um, assigned credential there. But if those credentials don't work on a specific asset, Lance people will fall back to the default credentials that we see and will then scan with those. The my credentials are just that, those credentials that are created by you and can be assigned to different scan targets. And then lastly, for each of the different installations and scan servers that you have, there is a separate um, entry where you can actually add those particular um, credentials that you create to that particular installation. And what that is doing is it allows you to be able to control which credentials can be assigned to where, maybe based on location or specific, uh, whatever standards you might have for your, or use case for your situation. So with that now, and understanding that, let's create inside of one of my credentials, let's create a new credential. And for this example, I know in my particular lab, I've got a lot of Windows devices. So let's create a Windows credential, hit add credential. We need to give this credential a unique name, Tim's admin cred, sounds good to me. And let's put a specific username and password in place. Okay, now that these are put in place, I'm gonna hit simply hit save and exit, and my credential has been created and added into this particular site. Next thing I would need to do is assign this to a, uh, a scan target, but before I do that, I do know I have a couple other things I wanna create here. So one, for example, I saw in my inventory that I have uh, Linux devices. So let's create a Linux device before I come and start assigning these into unique scan targets. So create a new scan credential, Linux uses the SSH protocols. Tim's SSH cred for credentials. And as you can see, I can do a, um, a the SSH or the SSH with a certificate, uh, certificate as well. And in this particular situation, I don't have a certificate in place. So what I'm gonna do is just add the login and the password. Okay, and with that, we can hit save and exit and my Tim's SSH cred, such a unique name there, has been put in place and it's ready to be assigned also to a scan target. And with that, our scan credentials have been created and the next thing that needs to happen is assigning those to a scan target. So with that, that concludes this video and I'll see you on the next one where we're gonna create some scan targets and assign these credentials into those scan targets. I'll see you on the next one. 